This video is a guide for installing the Sky Tunnel Daylighting System into an open space without a ceiling. The installer should have previous experience in performing a roof penetration. Before starting, you should have made a plan of where you will install each Sky Tunnel. Let's start by marking the roof sheet. The hole you will cut should have an opening of approximately 600 mm by 600 mm. Ideally, the hole should be positioned centrally with the full rib on either side. The soaker tray should cover the hole as well as the rib on either side of it. Now let's cut the roof sheets. You can cut the sheets using a sharp cutting tool and a hammer. To cut the sheets faster, you can also use electric nibblers, shown in the small window. We do not recommend cutting the sheets with an angled grinder. Fold up the edges of the roof sheet, around the hole, using a pair of vice grips. This will help prevent any water blowing back up the sheets and into the hole. Do this on all four sides. We now need to cut a hole in the insulation. Using the angle adapter as a template, mark the circle on the insulation. Carefully cut out the circle, using a sharp knife. Time to attach the rigid 98 tube. Place the roof parts upside down. Get the upper ring, and with the notches facing down, put it inside the breather frame. Twist the upper ring, so the notches lock onto the lugs of the breather frame. You can adjust the angle adapter by twisting the two halves. Place the adapter on the roof and then using a spirit level, check if the adapter is level. Continue to adjust the adapter, which may include rotating it, as well as twisting the two halves to get it 100% level in all directions. Now drill and rivet or screw the angle adapter clips to keep the unit from changing angles. With the roof parts, including upper ring, placed on the roof, put the angle adapter inside the upper ring. Check the adapter is level, then screw the angle adapter to the upper ring using the screws provided. Put the 1 meter length of rigid 98 tube inside the angle adapter. Check the rigid 98 tube is level, then screw this tube to the angle adapter using the screws provided. Now you can remove the plastic protective film from the inside of the tube. When installing multiple units on the same roof pitch, you can do the following to save time. Measure the distance between the two joins of an angle adapter already adjusted to the correct angle. Twist the two halves of any further angle adapters required so the distance is the same as the first unit. Now drill and rivet or screw the angle adapter clips to keep the unit from changing angles. Attach the diffuser holder to the 1 meter length of tube using the screws provided.
Place a sky tunnel sticker on the tube. Make sure it is positioned so it will be the right way up once installed. Remove the screws from the ridge capping. Then bend the bottom edge of the ridge capping back to a flat position. Carefully place the sky tunnel through the hole in the roof. If the tabs are not already installed in the breather frame, you can do so now. All four tabs should be the solid type. Place the dome on the breather frame. Screwing position using their eight wafer head screws provided. The order in which flashing sheets are placed is critical. The sheets should overlap with the sheet closer to the ridge being on top. This applies for all flashings and so get trays. The overlap should be at least 100 millimeters. Seal between the ridge capping and the flashing using a good quality roof and gutter silicon. Put the screws back into the ridge capping. Seal between each join in the flashings using a good quality roof and gutter silicon. Fix the flashings to the roof sheets by screwing them to the ribs. The sheet furthest from the ridge will need to have the shape of the roof sheet cut from the lowest edge. Screw the bottom flashing to the ribs of the roof sheets.
sweep the roof clean of any debris. Remove the plastic protective film from the domes. If you have followed this guide carefully, you should have now finished the job, and will have a trouble-free and leak-proof installation.